Hello, this is Becca with Amazing Paper Grace, and today what I'm going to share with you is a a twist top box that I made quite some some time ago. Now the box, the original box that I made was quite large, and it required a larger sheet of paper. And so what I did is I worked on scaling it down so that you can actually get the box out of a 12 inch by 12 inch sheet of paper. And this is the box that I'm talking about. Um, out of one sheet of paper and actually the box is fairly simple to make the embellishment takes a lot longer than to make the box and what I've used here on this particular box is I've used um, you know a nestability and um, actually jumped at the chance to use some new waltzing mouse stamps uh, that that fit in with the theme very well so let's get, get started. started you'll have a sheet of paper that's ten and a half by an, by eleven and a half and I, you want the 11 and a half inch paper going across your top. That's the longer side. You'll start out by lining up at a quarter of an inch and scoring at three inches. You'll move your scored line down to the quarter of an inch mark. And again, you'll score at three inches. And you'll do the same thing until you exhaust your paper. Moving it down, the score line down to a quarter of an inch, scoring at three one more time down to a quarter of an inch and scoring at three oops there we go then you'll turn your paper 90 degrees you'll line up at a quarter of an inch and you'll score at three and um, then you'll actually flip it over and you will line up at a quarter of an inch and you will score it at three. Okay, so there we go. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some scoring in these four squares right here. And if you'll notice on my score pal, I've marked a line and that's just so that I can be sure that when I'm scoring down, even if I cannot see that I am on the same line. We're gonna do a technique that I, I, I actually pivot the paper to get a diagonal line. So to start out with, you're going to go to your first intersection and you'll put your stylus right in that intersection and it'll it'll fall in this ditch and it won't move then i'm going to rotate my paper until the next scored line meets the drawn line on my score pal and i will i'll, I'll score a line down then and this is kind of blind which is why i use the ditch i'll move to the next intersection and i'll do the same thing and then I'll move to the next intersection and here again I'm blind but it goes in that ditch I'll do the same thing and one more time and I will line it up so that I, I do the same thing okay then our next line is going to be from this corner down halfway so it's the same technique where you put your stylus in the intersection I will line it up so that uh, this scored line meets and it gives me a perfect diagonal and then I'll come down to half and then actually I will turn the paper 90 degrees and I'll continue straight down you can do that as a separate step if you want but why not just save save a little bit of time since you've got everything lined up so I went to my intersection scored to halfway, pivot, and go all the way down. And then I've got two more times to go. Here I am at the intersection, it's, I'm in the ditch. I've got it lined up down here. I scored a halfway, pivot my paper, and then go down one more time, and then we're done. So I'm right here on the edge where there would be an intersection if there were more paper. My scored line meets my marked line. I come down halfway and then straight down. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we need to make some slits in the paper. And they'll be slits where we have already um, done some scoring, so it'll be very easy. So I'm going to slit the left arm of this Y. So I'm gonna come here with my X-Acto knife down halfway okay, I didn't 
quite go through. Let me just do that again. There we go. All right. I'm on the second one. I'm coming to the third Y, and you're only going down halfway. And just verify that you've gone through. Okay. And so now there are a couple more snips that we that we need to make on the bottom left hand corner just to reduce bulk when we actually put the box together just snip once okay and then I'm gonna rotate the paper around so that um, I have the other side this is actually gonna be the top this is actually gonna be the bottom I'm going to snip all the way up to the first horizontal line and these are gonna be my bottom tabs so there's one, two, three. I'll cut the fourth one. And I'll actually cut the fourth one off. So this is what you're going to end up with. And you actually, um, then you can actually start folding the paper. So you'll want to fold everything. You know, take a minute with this and use your bone folder and get some some sharp creases. And this is also the time to start thinking about if you want windows. It's really up to you. You can have no windows at all. You can have one, two, or three, or four. It's up to you. And then also, you're going to want to start manipulating this. And you only want to fold where you have a score line. So just spend a little bit of time. Now this particular box, it takes folding it into place a couple of times before it'll remember. So there we go. Now rather than take the time on camera to do all the windows, I actually have one made that has the windows. And that's right here. So, in order to put this together, the first thing you're going to do is you'll actually run your adhesive along this ledge. And you'll, you'll meet it to the other edge. And then along the bottom, you will take some time to glue it however you like those those all fit in fit right into place so I'm actually going to put some adhesive here and I'll do adhesive here too Fold that in, fold that in, fold that in, and I will fold that in. So that's going to give me a square bottom. Now, for this top, it's you just kind of have to coax it into place by twisting it a little bit. Like I said, after you've gotten it once or twice, it will remember. It's like one of those Shazam things. You do it and then all of a sudden it falls into place. And then I poke up those edges a little bit. Now, if you'll look at the one that I have done, I took diagonal pieces of, of um, paper and, and I laid along here. And then I also decorated on the front and I put acetate on the inside.